Gaining traction on this platform is almost impossible, especially if you're a newcomer who has very minimum skills, or even if you have skills, you just don't have very good social media following. There's so much that you need to do in order to get anywhere in this place. But there are some people that are born naturally into this, like the man we're about to talk about. I show speed. One of the craziest son of a bitches on the internet. no more yo tell why did Ben just turn black gaining a massive following in under 10 years something that some of us wish that we had he uploaded his first live stream in 2016 and like most people who don't have any subscribers it only got two views and he didn't post that much at first but he continuously went live something that would be a trademark of his Now, if you don't know, YouTube is trying to become a live streaming platform. It does live streaming, but it never focused on it mainly. So for iShow Speed, as of right now, to gain one to two million live viewers is nothing short but incredible. He started to gain popularity on his Talking Ben segments. Go make some. <laughs> no, you're black! He did get a community guideline strike after a massive amount of people reported him, finally surpassing 100,000 subscribers. But in that same month, TikTok started to blow up for him, and people making multiple accounts of him is kind of what began to sink the trend in. Now, of course, he was nowhere near his fame as he would be after he released his music videos. July 2022, his channel hit 10 million subscribers. But that same year, he got another strike. But that didn't stop him. Constantly live streaming. Till he began to grow to 11 million subscribers, which he sits at right now. Now, of course, he's had controversies. But he was rolling in the money. Live streams make you a lot of money on YouTube. Because people can donate. And of course, YouTube takes a percentage. But the difference is, is that it's not like Twitch. Twitch takes a huge percentage. YouTube takes, eh. Not as much. Now I believe that I Show Speed really has something for this platform and his edgy, insane content pushes the boundaries like Filthy Frank used to. It raises the bar for comedy. And of course, it's not the funniest, but it still is great. It's comedy. What can he do that will move his career forward? I think he needs to start doing better full length videos. I know he just does mostly live streams and that's his, that's his niche. And he has a niche audience, but if he did better full length videos, I think that he'd be reaching far more people. I'm not saying do stuff like I do, cause but I would love to see him do it. I mean, he's insane. I'm saying try something different. I'm sure he'll find what it is that will make him bigger than what he is, but I just suggest him to try something different. Now he was banned from Twitch and it's kind of sad, but <laughs> I mean, he kind of, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. But anyways, I think he's gonna be huge. I mean, 11 million subscribers in only six years, that's crazy. And he gained hundreds of thousands of subscribers in one month, so he's got something. But anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.